Hello everyone, welcome back to Electrified Outdoors. Are Rivians any good off-road? Today we're going to answer that question, so you don't want to miss this one. Alright everyone, so today we've got an off-road adventure with the Mid-Atlantic Rivian Club. And these guys are having all kind of fun here. We went through... Green Ridge State Forest. And we went through a little bit of an off-road course already, but we're getting ready to continue. And this should be a really interesting video. I always love coming out to these meetups because Rivian owners are such an awesome group of people. I enjoy meeting everyone and just talking with them about all things Rivian and EV and so on and so forth. But we're getting ready to go on the second leg of this off-road course. So stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this one. So I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I've only got 42% battery. I guess I didn't properly plan for this one. We're kind of up in the mountains here this time. But got plenty of Rivians here, so if I do run out of juice, but anyway, I'm going to have a blast, and I really don't care at this point if I run out of battery or not. All right, so here we go. Time to put this bad boy in off-road mode. Yeah, I want to go off-road. Well, it didn't do it. Oh, I gotta slow down. That doesn't make any sense. All right, wants me to slow down, I guess below 10 miles an hour. There we go. such a beautiful area out here and to be out here with a bunch of other Rivian owners is really cool. Uh, there's a car coming down the other side here. I don't know folks, it's something about seeing a bunch of Rivians in an off-road situation that uh, just puts a smile on my face. Yeah, they weren't kidding about the washboard, but this is fairly mild when it comes to off-road courses, so I'm not gonna complain at all. This is pretty easy, at least so far. But this is gonna be kind of a novice off-road course anyway, so I'm not expecting anything really challenging. And I'll be the first to admit, I am not an off-road expert. I do have some experience with Jeeps and I have been off-road before. However, I am by no means an expert on this. And I'm not the one you wanna have out there trying to get you out when you're stuck, for sure.
Let's see if I can. It's not going to help for long. I'm only doing it for the cameras. <laughs> Must have another vehicle coming down here. Yeah, we do. One thing to note on the Rivian that I've noticed is that uh, there is a 20 mile an hour limit when you're in the all-terrain off-road mode. And if you go above that, it'll actually put it back down in the standard mode and back in the on-road, which is not good um, if you don't want it to do that. So I've got to be mindful of how fast I'm going. I don't want to exceed 20 miles per hour. Although it probably wouldn't hurt me to be in standard mode. One of the really cool things about Rivian's off-road mode here that you can see is we have these additional gauges over here. We have the pitch of the vehicle, so this is front to back, and then we also have the roll, so this is the side to side. And these things are really helpful for those of you in the audience that are not familiar with off-roading. You know, you only wanna be taking so many degrees of roll or pitch, and it's also very helpful to know what those numbers are if you're trying to get out of a situation that you're in. So I think it's really, really critical that Rivian has uh, added this functionality to their vehicles. And it doesn't clutter up the screen when you don't need it. So if you're not in the off-road mode, these gauges don't show up. But when you are and you need them, they're there. Looks like now we're getting ready to go through some water. I got somebody in a Honda behind me. I know he's not going down through the water. <laughs> not with a Honda fit. <laughs> I mean, he could, I guess, but it wouldn't be very smart. So this looks like a little bit more of a challenge here. I just see the terrain is slightly changing. Wow, 
this is really low here. So I wonder, wow, it's 11 degrees of pitch. It's insane. Yeah, I have to admit that wasn't very comfortable going over that branch that was laying across the road there. Especially not with a glass roof. But I survived it. Yeah, this is just a really cool site, folks. For those of you that don't own a Rivian, it's just uh, the community and the ownership experience and the people that you meet at these get togethers. I think that's one of the best parts about it. Forget about the how awesome the truck is, how cool it is, the people, the people, the company, it, all these things come together to make owning a Rivian unlike any other vehicle out there. And so I think when you're considering a Rivian, you have to consider all the things that you're getting. You're, you're getting an awesome vehicle, you're getting uh, a great company that's really focused on customer service, but best of all, you're getting a group of owners that are just totally awesome people. I haven't met another Rivian owner, and I've met a lot of them. I have not met another Rivian owner that I don't like. I mean, just awesome, awesome people. And just some really cool views out here going on this trail. Uh, really, really, really nice views. This would be a nice trail to come up really early in the morning, like right, right as the sun's coming up. I think I might try that some point in the future. Yeah, we're getting a lot of washboard now. Good Lord. Now, I'm in the R1T today, but I suppose the R1S is probably just a little bit better uh, off-roading because of the shorter wheelbase. But that's not to say the R1T is not extremely capable off-road. The only problem is when you get all this dust kicked up, you can't see what's in front of you. But I think Rivian is probably the only vehicle I've ever owned that looks just as good clean, or just as good dirty as it does clean. It's kind of hard to choose between which way you want it to be. Me being the way I am, I do like it clean most of the time, but it looks darn good dirty.
Yeah, you can tell a few Rivians have been here. It's a lot of dust. Now normally I'd be extremely cautious off-road, probably be going a lot slower, but I do already know ahead of time that this is a novice off-road adventure here. So I'm not too overly worried, but I'm still not going above a certain speed because if we do get a really good dip, I wanna be able to drive this thing home. I did load up one of my 21 inch spare wheels and tires in the back just in case. And I also brought my tire plugging kit, <laughs> which could be really useful. And when you're off-road out in the woods like this, folks, you have to be prepared. AAA is not gonna come and rescue you if you get stuck. And folks, one other thing to note is the running boards and sliders will protect the side of your vehicle from a lot of these rocks that are getting flung up. Now they're losing me. I gotta pick up the pace a little bit.
Just some beautiful sights out here, folks. I see a whole lot of Rivians up there ahead and a couple of them behind me. One thing, if you're in a convoy like this and you're going down a steep hill and it's on gravel or dirt, keep a little bit of distance between you and the vehicle in front because with the regen, when you come down to a stop or you get close to a stop, the Rivian can slide a little bit and you don't want to slide into the guy in front of you. And even if you're by yourself, controlling your rate of descent is important because even if there's not a guy in front of you for you to slide into, there could be an obstacle or you could slide off the road. So always good to keep those things in mind. Yeah, we're getting into a little heavier area here. Novice off-road is probably the most I would do in my truck. My wife would not be happy if I damaged the truck doing some more severe off-roading. And of course my wallet wouldn't be happy either, even if it is a whole heck of a lot of fun. But this is a lot of fun, folks. There's something about being out in the woods, riding back on these trails that is just relaxing. And I can't, I can't really put words down to explain it. It's something you just have to experience for yourself. And until you do, you're really not gonna know exactly how it feels. And even if you already have experienced it in another vehicle, you don't really know how it is until you do it in a Rivian. The sound of nature, the silence, no, no motors. I mean, it's not purely silent. I mean, you hear the electric motors, but it's not like the off-road rigs of yesteryear, if you know what I mean. So right now I've just got it in the high because I am at times going over 20 miles per hour and there's not really any obstacles that would require me to be in the highest ride height. So I've just got it in the high ride height for now. And it really is cool. And you can also see the power delivery. That's another thing that, yes, it's good to know on road, but it's also really good to know when you're off-road where your power is going. And we can see here in the Rivian screen where exactly our power is going. And with the quad motor, which we're in right now, we've got all these different off-road drive modes. So if we wanna change how the power is delivered to each one of the four motors, we can do that via the drive modes here. Right now, I've just got it in the all-terrain mode. All right, so here's the question. If you own a Rivian, have you taken it off-road? And if you haven't, do you plan to? And for those that don't own a Rivian, when you buy one, 
Are you planning to take it on off-road adventures? Yes or no? Let us know down in the comments section. And one other thing too to note folks is when you're off road, there is a chance you could get a flat tire. So you always wanna make sure you have a plug kit and a spare tire. Having both of those is really useful. And another thing, I'm gonna switch this from my efficiency because I, I really don't care about my efficiency when I'm off road. So I'm gonna switch this to the tire pressure so that I can see if I'm losing pressure in one of my tires. Now, as you can probably see, I'm at the factory recommended tire pressure. Now, because this is not a hardcore off-road course, I didn't air down the tires or do any of that kind of stuff. But obviously, if you were going rock crawling and doing some really hardcore stuff, you would wanna really air down your tires and so in that case, make sure you have your air hose and everything that you need to air them back up when you get off the trail. Yeah, this is getting a little more dicey back here, but it's still not too bad. I tell you folks, the Rivian, even when I give it a good amount of acceleration, I don't feel the slightest hint that it's gonna break loose or anything like that. The traction is just amazing. And the regen makes it so that I never really have to ride the brakes or anything like that. If I modulate the pedal correctly, I can just coast on down here without any ill effect. The one thing you do give up when you're in the off-road mode is the battery temperature. You do not see my battery temperature over there, but 
I don't guess you're really stressing the battery too much going at low speeds. But really, driving the Rivian off-road like this is just, um, you know, I, I feel very confident. But you also want to be careful that you're not overconfident because that's how you get yourself into trouble. Another cool thing you can do with a Rivian when you're off-road like this is fire up the cameras. And you can see my front view camera. And I can actually see the 360, but I don't necessarily want that. I might want side to side so I can see what's going on with the side of my vehicle as well. The cameras are hugely useful off-road. And this is really the view, assuming you're going in <laughs> forward and not in reverse, this is really the view to be in. So you have a view of both sides of your vehicle and the front view. As, especially if you're coming up over a hill or something, you're definitely going to want to have that front camera on because it's hard to see over the hood and there might be a rock on the other side of that hill. So. Better safe than sorry, but again, another real useful tool off-road is these cameras and the two side views with the front view. And you know, something my wife would probably say is, I get bored with vehicles after a certain period of time. And I will tell you, if that's you, just take your Rivian off-road. It'll be a whole new truck again, a whole new experience. So I think that's why folks don't get bored with Rivian vehicles. It's because they can do so many different things. So once you've done everything there is to do on-road, you've got a whole plethora of off-road adventures that you can explore with your R1S or R1T. So get out there and have fun, folks. And, you know, we did pretty well today. I had 46% when we started this trail, and I've still got 35%. And so what I'll probably do is map in the Hagerstown Rivian Adventure Network Charger. And you know, folks, if there was ever any question whether or not the Rivian was designed to go off-road, <laughs> look at the navigation. So I put in the Rivian Adventure Network Charger in Hagerstown, Maryland. And as you can clearly see here, I'm off-road here. And it actually knows where I am and is navigating me through an off-road trail to get to the charger. So pretty cool, folks. I don't think you could ask for much more from an electric adventure vehicle. And I'm going to say it again, folks, the group of Rivian owners, especially the folks that were out here today, are just an awesome group of people. And the Rivian owners, folks, they make it just that much better to own a Rivian. The car 
is awesome. The owners are awesome. And Rivian as a company, I think, is, is awesome as well. What do you think of this off-road trail? Let us know down in the comments section. As always, remember to like. It helps others find our content easier on YouTube. Hit subscribe and then turn on all notifications with that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any upcoming content. As always, folks, remember to hug the people you love every chance you get, even out on the trail. I'll see you next time.